Penny here again today from AllAboutStencils.com and DesignsFromPenny.com and our project today is we are going to be stenciling a dolphin stencil, hope you can see it, on a tote bag. And this is our tote bag. So we're going to be making a beach bag out of it. Uh, this is a cute little tote bag that I bought for $4.99 at uh, the local discount department store. Uh, and there, there's some great things we can do with it, but I want to make this a quick project, so let's get started. Okay, back again. We have our tote bag. We have our stencil. Uh, and actually, this was printed, you can print it for free at allaboutstencils.com. Uh, and this is the printed one I have. This is the one I've already got cut out. And I want to just show you one quick tip that you can do. You have your paper stencil before you cut anything out. Cover it with a clear clear coating, protective coating. That way you can use your stencil again and again. Uh, this is shelf liner paper, clear shelf liner paper. Uh, it's inexpensive. You can get it at a discount store. You just cut a piece off of it, peel the back off, put it on top, and cut your stencil out. You've got a permanent stencil that you got for free from allaboutstencils.com. Anyway, so we're getting started. It's our tote bag. I'm going to put the stencil there on top of it. Now he's not making a real good fit, so we're going to kind of hold him down each time we get to a little area. All right. These are the colors I have. Um, do whatever you want. You, you know that a dolphin is sometimes gray. Uh, you can stick with that, but I'm working on a purple background, so I have some different colors, and I'm just going to work with them as I go. I have a little bit of a green here also, and that's because the inside of the tote bag has some green to it. Uh, I have a couple of different pinks, a white, a gray, a yellow, and a dark blue. Those I might use on the splash area. Anyway, let's, let's get started and we're just going to start tapping on paint. Okay, and I'm kind of holding him down. I think I'm going to start with, uh, let's just do a little green here. And again, I'm going to put my paint palette over here so you can watch as I go. I'm tapping out the paint, and you can use a part on your palette. Tap it out because you want your brush to be real, real dry. And just and tap over, over your edges, and that way you'll get a good clear line along your openings. If you're brushing back and forth, you're going to push paint underneath. You don't want to do that. It's going to smear your image, and I don't know what it's going to look like. But anyway, up and down all the time, up and down. Okay, and over the edges, you kind of want to start, I like to start at the edges of the openings and my, work my way in. That way you're tapping straight down. And especially with this guy, because he has some very, very thin pieces in between your openings. Those are called bridges. So those bridges are kind of thin and delicate. So you want to do the best you can to keep him in place. So tapping straight down like that is what's going to help you get clear lines on him. Okay. And that's what we're doing. And again, we're working kind of a wrinkled surface, so <laughs> you have to work with it a little bit. Um, now, what can you do with this bag? I'm saying it's a good beach bag, but you know what I like to do with nice tote bags like this, especially since it was so inexpensive. Uh, you know, when you are given gifts, you buy gift bags. Why not use a tote bag like this? Uh, it's an extra special gift, and you put a little bit of yourself into it. People like that. It's personalized, personalized gift. It could be the whole gift, or it could have inside of it other gifts. And uh, that's a real creative idea. We get to show off our creativeness, too, in our gifts. And I like doing that. Um, it's given a little piece of ourselves. Anyway, also, I wanted to talk about the paint that I'm using. Uh, actually, you can. we're painting on fabric, so you could use fabric paint. Uh, but I'm using just plain craft acrylics. And I find they work. They work pretty well, too. This is not going to be something you're washing a lot, but uh, you can read the instructions if you think you're going to be washing it. You may want to use a fabric paint. That would be fine. Okay. 
I'm going to switch brushes here because we're going to try some different different color. And again, this little guy is since since it's on a tote bag, which is real flexible. Just got to work with it a little bit. That's all. I'm going to do some dark blue here on the on the waves. I may not use all the colors I pulled out, but I might. Hmm. We'll have to see. And that's what it is with stenciling, with painting at all. You just you just feel it out. Uh, move as you, as the spirit hits you. Just put what colors you like and work with it. Uh, and you'll come up with something great, I'm sure. Okay. And like I said, we're going to kind of keep this one quick. Because I don't think it's going to take you long to do this. It's a nice quick project, and I'm, I'm really excited about this dolphin. I think he's, I think he's very nice. Uh, different. I looked on other sites to see if I could find a dolphin that I might like. And I didn't, so I drew this one up. And I hope you like him, too. Okay, I'm just about done with that. Okay, and you know, if it's not perfect, if you don't have good color all the way up to the lines, that's, that's okay. It's okay. It's going to be just fine. All right, now we got, we have our dolphin. We have our water. I'm going to use, I think I'm going to use a little bit of white. Some of these spots here on the, on the waves, just to kind of tap them out, give a little, little more dimension to them. Just for grins and giggles. White there around the top. And uh, I'm really just doing this to show you that you can take your time with it. Put some creativeness in it and, and have fun. That's that's the main thing. This is a hobby. This is a, a fun thing. It's, it should relieve stress. It shouldn't be stress. <laughs> so that's the main point to it. Okay, we've got a, got a little white in there. And I'm going to come back to, looks like I need another brush. And I think that I would like to put maybe a little pink in my dolphin. I know that sounds funny, but let's try that. A little pink in it with the green. How about that? A different look there. Maybe a little bit on the tail. Okay, I think we did pretty good. Let's see how we came out. Okay, our project is finished, the paint is dry, and here's our dolphin tote bag. Uh, you might notice I put a little black spot in his eye, just to make that stand out a little bit. And um, notice the colors on him too, how they dried, and uh, I think they look really good. So a little bit of a pink blends really well with the lavender, and uh, he's going to make quite a splash at the beach. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this project. I had a lot of fun, and I hope you come back to allaboutstencils.com for more fun projects just like this. All right, see you later. Bye.